Hello guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and uh, in this tutorial we are going to explore our Einstein for developers. So make sure you are within this class, you have your cursor here and do control shift P and we will say code. The moment you say code, this extension which is Einstein generate code will come up and here you will write your query. So let's say the query is write me a method, me a method that returns all the cases with priority all the cases okay under a specific account let's see if it's able to do that so this is what we have asked it to do and you can see here uh, you get rid of this whole account service class because it has created the class also so here it says the get cases by account okay get cases by account so it says first it is checking if the account id is not empty and then it is returning you from where account id is equals to this one and this is pretty much correct i just want to make sure if the if the fields it's also able to query the fields properly you don't have to remember the api name here and you can see here, yes, it gave you the right results. Isn't this amazing? You gave one statement and it is able to get you the answer that you need. Now, similarly, I can write another one, control shift P generate code, write a method that, write a method to find if a given number is prime number or not. Okay, this is another one I'm asking. So here you can see it has created another, uh, something is wrong, a public class prime number, it created another class. And then it is telling you is prime is the name of the method and it is doing match.of mode and returning you the results. Amazing. Now this one you should know, if you know a little bit of uh, Apex, you know that, okay, it created a prime number class. You don't need all of that. All you need is this method and you can use this method anywhere you want. Okay. So this is what it has done for you and it creates the class and it creates all of that. And now let's say we get rid of it and let's say we do control shift P code. It doesn't work. So you have to create, you have to go in a class and then you can call it from here code here. It will show up. So make sure you are within the class or you can do it from here. Control shift P generate code. And here you can say, write a method to the method to find out if a given number is even or not, even or odd. Okay, so this is the one that we're creating. It created a method even or odd. This takes in a parameter. If num percentage two is equals to zero, it returns you even, otherwise it returns odd. Now this is, there is an issue here. The return type is integer, but it's returning a string. So that's the problem here. So it doesn't give you always the right results. Now this will work. If you copy this and if you want to use it, it will work fine. So this is how the Einstein for developers work. You please go ahead and explore it as much as you can. But one more thing you have to remember, the results might not be accurate. It can literally help you uh, to kind of write the code. Some people don't like to write from scratch. So this can give you some guidelines to begin your code. And also it's a beta version. So though you have to expect some kind of trials here, uh, but it's a great tool. Uh, I will highly recommend you to start using it. It will definitely will help you increase your productivity and you will be able to write code faster. I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials and you're learning new stuff. I always bring to you new and the uh, upcoming things in Salesforce. And uh, if you are really enjoying this course, I will highly recommend you to please, please leave a review on the course because that encourages me. It takes a lot of time to prepare a course. So please leave a feedback. And if you can be more descriptive, if there is an improvement, then I have to make, then please let me know as well. But please provide a good rating to the course because it takes takes a lot of effort to bring up these courses for you. So thank you very much and have a wonderful rest of the day. I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.